Well, good morning. A welcome to uh, introductions and fellowships today. Um, uh, we are for our service of getting acquainted with God, and we're focusing oh, on bigger. the section of, um, well, let's see, uh, the section of, um, had the radio on there, sorry. Uh, I, I apologize for my appearance. Um, time management-wise, I don't have the luxury as some people do. Um, I'm not condemning those people. And I hope that those people don't are not offended by me. If I've offended anyone, I apologize. But I have. It's, it's the best way possible to uh, get this church service in appropriate form and to get the message out. I want to say hello to Dr. Yanti Hassaban. I appreciate her singing efforts. She will be singing for us after this message. And I am very grateful to her for that. It's nice and sunny here in Ohio. And I hope that God will speak to your heart today in a mighty way. And uh, we're going to do some prayer for um, churches, our communities, our governments, that people be reached for Jesus. I think it's very important. I value that very much. I'm grateful for being able to communicate to you um, in, this, in this fashion. I'm, I'm real excited about that. I'm grateful for YouTube for giving me three hours if I wanted to at a time uh, to do a broadcast. Um, I can do now because I have over 10,000 viewers on YouTube visiting my YouTube site, I could have a live broadcast, but I'm just one person. I have Dr. Yanti Hassaban, and it's just very wonderful, but I would not be able or privileged to give you some songs on YouTube legally if I were to do that, so um, I, I'm sorry for that. But at the same time, um, I make it simple and to the point. And what matters is, yes, I wish I could fellowship with you in the flesh. But you definitely, I really definitely believe by faith, uh, God's word does not come back void. And therefore, you have a personal communication by the Holy Spirit as long as we are focusing on the Word of God, the Bible, and always recognizing the author and finisher of this faith book is our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who gets his source from God the Father and has the Holy Spirit uh, uh, do the marching orders of God the Son. Hallelujah. I uh, am so excited and happy to, to do this for you and oh, do it for God and for His glory and he says, when you do it for his good pleasure, for his glory, it is good for us. So it's a win-win situation for believers. But before one can really enjoy 
the fruits of their labor by grace one must ask and through adoption one must ask God to forgive their sins past, present, and future once and for all in Jesus name that's paramount that is so important um, not only is it important for discipleship development but it's eternal life folks uh, eternal life I can't stress that enough oh uh, if you are not saved have asked God to forgive your sins, past, present, and future, in Jesus' name. What are you waiting for? Now is the time of salvation, okay? I can't stress that enough. Jesus died on the cross for your sins, past, present, and future, okay? God loved you so much, he gave his only begotten son. He didn't just die for us believers. He died for the whole world. 1 John chapter 2, uh, verses 1 through 2 can back me up on that. And also John 3, 16 through 18. Okay? Uh, I can't stress it enough. It's the most important decision a man, woman, or child will make in their life. Truly, truly. Uh, I can't stress it enough. I just can't. Uh, it's going to get hot today. It was supposed to storm. But from the looks of things, we're not going to get rain today. I could be wrong. Maybe it's later today. Huh. Uh, I don't know. I, uh, I am using this portion of this church service for Sunday on a on the Saturday before. Um, it's it's important uh, that uh, we apply this uh, situation. Um, well, I uh, I'm excited. I'm, I'm really excited for you, what God's going to teach you, not, well, God works through people, that's, you know, how shall they, thank you, how shall they hear um, the word of God unless uh, uh, they hear a preacher? Uh, uh, I know that I've terribly uh, paraphrased, crude paraphrase there. And if I offended anybody, I am really sorry. Um, I, uh, if, if somebody that knows me in the past and this, is watching this, um, I'm asking you, if I have offended you in the past, um, I, I've tried to reach you, but I can't reach you through uh, people, elders, and blah, all that. Uh, please forgive me. I, I ask your uh, forgiveness in Jesus' name uh, to forgive me. I, I truly appreciate that. Um, I, I just, I just uh, tried everything I can to to reach those that I've offended in the past, and and if you have an offense or something, um, write to me. Let's reason together to work things out in Jesus' name. Um, I know I've uh, said some blunders in the past. Um, and uh, I, I truly am sorry if, if I've hurt you. I don't know. I don't know, but I just sense... I, I went up to one person... I, um, they said, you've bothered our blah, blah, blah organization for five years, and uh, um, and uh, you just, you've just caused all kinds of trouble. Just leave us alone. 
it was very hurtful and painful and you wish that everybody would just forgive you in the body of Christ but they don't always and, and uh, but anyways I want you to know that uh, it doesn't affect my bones anymore I mean I'm truly I'm truly sorry that I did the offense but if a person will not hear me and hold a grudge um, I just have to drive on if somebody you've made an attempt to, to to tell them you're truly sorry and they're they're a believer they you know if they it, it, it's not just not just uh, for your sake for their sake that they they should forgive you unconditionally and if you truly mean it and and if they don't well you just have to let go and not and just let patience do a good work in you to work in you so that it doesn't affect your bones and just when 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 a condemnation comes from the uh, from the people of the past that have been in offense well just do this say lord i submit to you and i resist the devil um because the devil loves to condemn the brethren okay um he really does powers of darkness love to condemn the brethren okay so and your flesh too probably he doesn't like you anyway your old man old person uh, so, uh, so in one case, uh, we have a sinful body and sin exists, but the inner man doesn't necessarily have to sin always. I mean, uh, uh, I really, uh, I really think that things have been taken out of context and that first John, uh, passage has been, uh, manipulated so people can't advance as a disciple and and live for Christ because they'll, they'll use that first John um, I think it's chapter 4 if we say we have no sin uh, the truth is not in us I have sin a sinful body which is slave to the law uh, but at the same time I have an inner man thank God because of the cross that I am been set free and we can do all things in Christ Jesus okay so um, and where uh, what happens if we sin as, as a believer well if you go to Hebrews chapter 6 verse 6 it says to to uh, uh, confess your sins again is open shame to to God see once and for all it's been done and I, and I, and I say to you, friend, uh, just, you know, just resist the, ask God to help you say, Lord, help me resist the devil. And I submit to you in Jesus name and you're back on, back restored because God has already through his son covered that sin. Remember, I say, ask God to forgive your sins, past, present, and future. It's saying that, that the power of God through Christ to forgive your sins is 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 of null and is is weak, um, um, possibly leading to null and void, which is not true. Uh, just just you know, if you offend somebody, you know, in sin, you need to ask their forgiveness. But as far as God is concerned, your sins are covered. Okay. But what we do need to do is ask God to help us resist the devil and submit to him. And the devil will flee and that condemnation will go f for a season. It's like being in the world, Jesus in the wilderness, like Jesus was in the wilderness with the devil. Only the battle is, only the wilderness is in your mind. And uh, it, it, it's in your, you know, in battle is in your mind and the soul, okay? Uh, so just submit to God and resist the devil. It, 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 you'll, you will start living um, victory for God. Uh, that condemnation's got to go away. Um, if, you're, if you're a believer, 
Um, and you've asked God to forgive your sins, past, present, and future. There was a point where you ask God to forgive your sins and you want to come back. You want to come back and, and, and reach souls for Jesus Christ and disciple, just say, Lord, I resist the devil and I submit to you in Jesus' name. And you're on the path again. It's that quick, that simple. And that, though, though what you did was painful, but, and, and there are going to be people who, maybe because of that sin, will never forgive you. But they should. They're supposed to. It's a commandment. And if they keep that commandment, God will manifest in them. Okay? But as long as they have a grudge or make conditional forgiveness to you, um, they're not, they're, they're, they, they're going to miss out on a lot of the manifestations God has for them. But because he forgives that sin, and they do... God's it keeps his commandments in other areas manifestation could could be accomplished okay but that one area God you know it's up to God I'm saying that's possible okay but their manifestation could be a lot stronger if they get you squared away unconditionally forgiven uh, they'll, they'll, they can pray about it, and, and the, you know, by faith, and the Holy Spirit will tell them whether the forgiveness is, of that person is legit or not. I really believe that by faith, and we're commanded to anyway, unconditionally, no matter what. Okay, we're supposed to do that. Okay, so when they really, when they come to you, you say it, and assuming by faith that they are, or when maybe they had made, maybe they aren't. Well, God will take care of that. That's, you know, let him, he'll take care of that. And his sin will find him out, find him or her out, okay? All right. Well, let's pray for nations and uh, our churches, local churches, as well as our local church on the, on the local website. That's why I call it a local church, the worldwide access to a local church site. Uh, it's just like somebody from Japan or Israel or some other city in Ohio or another state uh, coming to our church physically. You're coming electronically to the website. I think it's well, picky, picky, very when, when we criticize and say this is not a local church. This is because they're, you know they're meeting. This at physically at a place that doesn't have to happen that way. There can be communication electronically as long as the Holy Spirit is existing there. That's key between believers, okay? And time wise, it doesn't matter, okay? So, um, anyways, let's pray. Father God, I pray for our president. He has some monumental tasks to decide especially in the Middle East. We pray that the killing and the beheading stop in the Middle East. We pray that souls get saved, no matter who they are. No matter who they are. No matter what they've done. We pray for them in Jesus' holy name. And we pray for the state of Ohio. Um, we, we pray for all states in the United States. We pray for all countries, including in particular my, where my fiance is, Indonesia. We pray for Malaysia. We pray for Singapore. We pray for those in England. We pray for my brother, uh, Carl, in England, that you protect him, that, that God will give him wisdom. And pray for others in the name of Jesus. Pray for people in Canada. I pray for people in South America, Central America, Australia. I pray for people in Europe. Come to know Jesus in a personal life. Lord and Savior. Pray for Samaritan's Purse. Pray for Franklin Graham and Will Graham. Uh, I thank you for the fellowship with um, with some of these individuals I will not say. Pray for Josh McDowell. Pray for his ministry that he 
reaches young people or whatever you lead him to do to reach. I don't want to make any limitations. Pray for Janet Mefford. I pray for uh, Linda Harvey. Um, some misunderstandings between. I pray that they'll forgive me. Uh, shortcomings of past. Um, I pray for K Love that they reach souls for Christ. I pray for local churches in Beaver Creek, Dayton, Urbana, our church. And I pray for our networks, the Cyber Bible Gospel Network. Pray for my friends in Cambridge. Pray for churches in Cambridge, Ohio, Cambridge, England, Cambridge, Massachusetts, Boston, Massachusetts, Philadelphia, all those cities and you know, towns and villages in between, big or small. We pray for them all. Uh, amen. Uh, just pray for them. God, please get the gospel out. I beg you. I pray that the gospel be spoken through me. I pray that you let the Holy Spirit shine through me uh, in the sermon today, or tomorrow, that is. Um, I just give you all the praise and glory. Um, please help me give you that. I need your strength. I beg you, in Jesus' name, give me wisdom that, that souls will be reached. And then that I pray that they... they um, Christians, a Christian's character will be understood from Scripture and Scripture uh, and Scripture passages. Please, may the Holy Spirit work in a mighty way. Speak to my heart too, Father, in Jesus' name, if I need to see something. And I pray for, the, for my friends at Christian radio stations in Columbus, Cincinnati, Springfield, well, Dayton. Oh, yes, yeah, Springfield, there's still one there, in Jesus' name, and Cincinnati, and Columbus, and other parts, Pittsburgh. Pray that the, pray for Salem Media, that the gospel go out through them, and, uh, and my friends at WRFD, I pray for them. I pray for uh, Mike and Carol Eichen, pray that you will speak their hearts, in Jesus' name. I pray this gospel gets out. Pray for my friend Hal and Karen in Hawaii, uh, sharing gospel in Oahu. Pray for that you'll work with them in a mighty way. Pray for navigators and Campus Crusade and InterVarsity and other groups. Forgive me if I haven't mentioned you uh, in a mighty way. In Jesus' holy name, amen. Praise God. Oh, praise God. Oh, Tiberius Church, Father. Pray for uh, Yanni's Tiberius Church. In, uh, on um, in Bantan Island, and uh, we thank you for uh, Tiberius Church, Father. And we thank you for McDonald's <laughs> and other groups. I go to Burger King, I go to the other ones. Uh, forgive me um, for those of a Mexican persuasion. I can't eat it because my diet doesn't mean that it's not healthy for others. Um, I, I don't want to judge. Wendy's, I thank you too. Pizza and all. <laughs> My, Yanny tells me that there's a pizza hut where she lives, but uh, I was hoping McDonald's. <laughs> I, I'm where, where we're going to honeymoon, uh, there's a McDonald's. I'm not going to tell you where we're going to honeymoon uh, until after we do it. We'll send, we'll send you a postcard. <laughs> you don't tell anybody where you're going to honeymoon, okay? Don't ever tell people where you're going to honeymoon. <laughs> they might send, send a surprise to you. <laughs> Praise God. Oh, praise the Lord. Well, God bless you, and uh, let's get on with some quiet time. And uh, let's get on with some quiet time and some songs from uh, Dr. Yanti Hassaban, uh, my fiance, beautiful voice. And uh, I, I have the privilege of using her uh, for the church service. And yeah, you, she's a valuable. Uh, vessel uh, for this ministry. Oh, so dear to me. Um, I thank you, Yanti, every day. I thank God for in meeting you. And such a valuable sister in Christ. Thank you. And, uh, and her friends. God bless you. And uh, So let's, let's get into prayer. Quiet time. And talk to God 
of preparing our hearts for the sermon, understanding a Christian's character. Uh, granted, I don't have probably missed some Christian character, but I think we got the basics and some maturity in our discussion so it'll value you in your walk, in your holy walk, your discipleship development as a believer. And if you're not saved, please tell God you're sorry. Then you can do what we're doing, okay? Join us. And you can listen in, obviously. But get, you know, get saved. Get eternal life. Christ did not come to condemn you. We're condemned already. And that you can look at John 3, 17 through 18. I'll tell you that, okay? All right. Praise God. Uh, thank you for, for uh, listening to Pastor Lane here. Uh, Pastor Lane is your friend, I, I hope. If you want to email me, it's Claude Lane Nickerson. Oh, actually, there's a better one. <laughs> the Word of God is Jesus Christ. The Word of God is Jesus Christ, one word, at gmail.com. The Word of God is Jesus Christ at gmail.com. Okay? Write to me. I'd be thrilled to hear from you and be my friend. Um, I don't care who you are. Um, be my friend. I hope you come to Christ, know Christ as your Lord and Savior. I want you to have a I want the best for you. You, this is what you're. I can, I consider especially the brethren and sisters, brothers, sisters. Their ministry more important than mine. That's my attitude anyway. I wish that attitude, and um, and I wish those who aren't saved will see our light and come to know Christ. And, and I can wish that on you. I want it. I most definitely want that for you. You got to realize we're sinners. Saved by great sinners, and that God sent His. We've sinned against God. We need to ask God to forgive our sins in Jesus' name. That's it. And that's it. And Pastor Lane would love to know your decision on that. <laughs> I can share it with others and give me permission to share it with others on the internet. Otherwise, I won't. I won't do it. I'll tell say somebody got saved. <clears throat> <clears throat> and I won't even give your last name. I'll give you your first name if you let me. Otherwise, I'll say somebody got saved. And praise God and all that. Or if you have an unspoken prayer request for Pastor Lane, you can write to me at Ask God's Will in Jesus. No, that's not. That's that's one you could send. But the Word of God is Jesus Christ at gmail.com. The Word of God is Jesus Christ at gmail.com. Well, I gotta go get breakfast for Mom, Enid, and myself, and uh, we're gonna have breakfast with my fiance by video. I send her a video. I try to every day, except on the weekends when we have church service, and, and um, of course she sees the Bible study too. I'm sorry. I I, tr I may do an unscheduled Bible study, and also the church service will be. The title will be an unscheduled church service, but I, I plan to make it on on Sunday, and there'll be a time there, but that that might not be the time that it comes on. So that's why I call it an unscheduled church service, and I'll have the date on it too. And I keep that date so that I can make it into a Bible study eventually too, if I want to, as I'm led by God. Okay, so I praise God for you. Okay. You take care. This is Pastor Claude Lane Nickerson here. Yet here at the Church of the Church at Philadelphia in the book of Revelations. Amen. And uh, we say hello to you again. Lord bless you, keep you. Lord make his face to shine upon you, be gracious upon you. Lord lift up his counts upon you and give you peace in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Take care. God bless.